Today, I'm going to unbox my husband's gift, which is the Hobby Maker 12 from Timber and Trent. And this is a sewing machine. What's the reason why I got this love? What's the reason why you got me this? Um, so that you can make stuff. <laughs> yeah. He told me that he will get this for me when we moved. But because of some unprecedented situations and the need. Um, yeah. He gave it to me in advance. <laughs> We're going to be spending a lot of time at home, then you should have a productive hobby. That's true. And it will allow me to make and create. So let's start unboxing. So it says here, Hobby Maker. And we got it from Spotlight. It's on sale for 50% off. Something like that. 70 from 120. Yeah. Okay, almost cool. Almost. Yeah, almost 50%. Yeah. So here you go and it says 12 stitches, 4 step buttonhole and 2 speed. I don't know what it means but let's have a look. Let's open it and it comes with a 1 year warranty. Spotlight in Victoria because we got this from Spotlight. Okay. And apart from that, it, it comes with an instructional manual. I showed this to my mom and she's really happy. <laughs> yeah. And let's open the box. Oh, what's this? Okay. It's really tiny. Yeah, I'll show you the other part. So it comes with this. Um, it will tell you what are the good, what are the fabrics you can um, use it for. And then it, in the box, it has the machine. It has thread spools, AC adapter, foot pedal, metal bobbins. A needle, a needle treader, and instructional booklet. And it also will tell you what are the kind of fabrics that you should not use it for or else it will, you know, the tread, the needle, the size of the needle wouldn't allow it to. So, yeah. So, let's open this up. Here are the treads and here are the needle needles that comes with it. Anyway, we bought some extra. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be needing more. So this is the one that comes with the box. And here is the machine. Go ahead and just put this down. First. I'm excited. Um, How do you have to look at this one? It's so small, it's so cute. It's just like for home hobbies. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it looks it's a good. good. Size. Yeah, for a hobby maker. Yes. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah, great. Yeah, don't, we don't need a professional one. Nice. That should suffice with what we are intending to use it for. Yeah. And, and then yes. when you become expert, you can get a bigger one. Yeah. When I find the, how do you call that? Like the intense heart to yeah. do bigger projects, then I'll get the bigger one. But for now, since I'm 
just about to I'm starting out this would be perfect for me here you go it's not that it hubby it's not that heavy it's just just perfect and here is the pedal and there is a cat um, Simba found some box again the box again yep Here's the adapter, and that's it. Awesome. And it comes with a silica gel, which you should not eat. And there you go. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'll give you a closer look. It's not, it's not that heavy. It's like has a trial thing over there. Pretty cool actually. Now I'm still wondering if how a left handed should use this machine. You just pretend to be right handed, love. Huh? <laughs> you just have to pretend how can to be you right do that? Like, it's There's no left handed sewing machine. Well, that's very discriminatory, love. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> So if difficult. am I gonna use it like that? That's gonna be difficult. That's no, you can't use it backwards. So I have to put that in them right hand yeah. like that. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. Does it have something like, uh, to make it steady? I don't think you can use it on that little table thing. You can. Why not? But when you push it like this, mm. it's gonna move. See. Well, depending on how you push it so hard. Oh, well. you'll you figure it out. Well, you can put your feet there. I'm happy where it is. Yay! Oh my god, this is so cool. And this will allow me to make clothes. <laughs> we'll see. But first, I will start with making face masks. That's the re one of the reasons why we got this in advance as well. Now I know homemade face masks are um, not really recommended, but actually you can use it as long as you're able to get the right filter that you can put inside it. So what I'm going to do is I'll be making some face masks with pockets and I'm intending to give it to my colleagues because yeah. I go to work every day and some are still a bit careless so that's what my first project will be it's so cool look at that so you just have to choose which one you want to uh, you which one or which kind of style or stitch you wanted and then you just have to twist this one So I shall be back when I'm done with my first project and yeah, wish me luck. Thanks. 